uh, we, we, we now come to what was uh, for a year uh, James A. Kester's scrapes, but in another new twist. As a scrape master himself, we get a lot of people asking for help from James because uh, yeah. he's been through everything. Yes. And so we thought it'd be nice if we made you a kind of agony aunt. I can't, in a feature we we're going to call James A. Kester's Moral Mace. Um, <laughs> now, we, we obviously, we didn't um, get to uh, ask for... We, uh, this, is, this being the first week, we haven't yet got to ask for listeners. If you have any moral issues or problems in your life, just send them in via the... Email them via the website, and James will attempt to sort through them Absolutely. and offer his advice. Happy to help. So this week, as a start, to see, uh, to test your metal, I've got Dear Deirdre yeah. from The Sun, and we, which has got her response, so... Um, See, see if I'm as good as Deirdre. See if you're as good Absolutely as Deirdre. Absolutely, mate, okay. up for the challenge. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the, uh, the, the the headline afterwards. Remind me to give the headline, because the headline's quite funny. They've written a good <laughs> one. Okay, dear Deirdre, dear James. Thank you. Yes, hello. I've got a crush on David Tennant. Josh, can you please read the letter? <laughs> <laughs> hey, lovely Can stuff. you do it as a character as well? I, I can't do voices. I'll, I'll do it as, um, oh, it doesn't have a name. Right, okay, here we go. Dear, J- Dear James, I've got a crush on David Tennant. I can't get him out of my mind. I've tried thinking that he's ugly and a bad person, <laughs> even that he's a terrorist, but I still feel the same. <laughs> <laughs> this is a genuine question. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm 32 and happily married with three young children. Every time I see him on TV, my heart skips a beat. <laughs> My husband is great, and I feel stupid about this. Sometimes, <laughs> it's like I can hardly breathe. David's face and his piercing eyes are in my head all the time. What I would say is that maybe contact David Tennant. <laughs> yeah. By his agent. I think that might be the worst advice you could possibly give. No, no. <laughs> this is, Mike, you have Jack up with Tennant. I'm pretty sure this is what Deirdre's written, okay? <laughs> you can contact him by his agent, set up a date. <laughs> have a little date, have a little date with him, right? Yeah. Have a chat with him. Uh, Should she tell her husband she's doing this? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> First of all, she's to talk to her husband. Yeah. To sit him down and go, look, I love you and we've built a family together, but every time I see a man on TV I've never met before, I want to leave you. She needs to get that in the, out in the open early, early doors. Yeah. Set up the date with Tennant, see what he's really like. Yeah. She's probably not missing much. You know, <laughs> I bet him he's nice. Yeah, I've I mean, he, he might he might regenerate. <laughs> he's very charming. <laughs> oh, he's very charming. charming she's not wrong. She's not wrong to have a question. Maybe in trouble then. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that could be. Uh, yeah. Okay. The one flaw in the thing is that he could end up being exactly what she wants. Yeah. But uh, you got to take those chances in life. Yeah. I'd say, or at least like you know, just just text him. <laughs> yeah, go on a date, but you know, do a bit of texting back and forth. Can I nice. can I offer up the fact that in any long term relationship, there is a thing that happens called a mental mini break. I'm coining that term. Mm. That if you're in a long term relationship, just you know, like I've been in my flat before, and I've maybe, if my boyfriend's been away, I've maybe spent a weekend in my head with James McAvoy. That yeah. might have happened. I'm never going to do anything Both about it. Sports jumpers. Yeah, like we, we go away. We're in a <laughs> Both sports, jumpers. Both sports, sports jumpers, jumpers. Convertible car. With, yeah. You know, some dress for on. lacrosse. Obviously, <laughs> you know me so well, James. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we see what Deirdre said? I'm yeah. pretty sure Deirdre will have actually said, uh, "Well, grow I, up." We all have our fantasies, but most of the time, they don't get in the way of our day to day life. If, the, if, if you're stressed, unhappy, or maybe just bored, then unrealistic daydream can start to take over. Think what makes your heart flutter about David Tennant, and then try translating some of this into your real life and real relationship. I mean, what if it's the, that he's a She's time gonna... traveller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, or forcing her boyfriend to say everything with a Scottish accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's go and play Richard III, please. <laughs> <laughs> Um, little Shakespeare company. There's a relevant message in this fant- There's a relevant message in this fantasy somewhere. Really? Can I uh, end this by saying what the uh, sub editor has chosen as the headline? <laughs> Desperate for tenants extra. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, so there you go. If you are. If you have a moral issue, we've already seen that James's guidance is definitely worth having. It's, de- <laughs> it's very good guidance. Yeah. I think her one's ridiculous. That, that woman's not going to get anywhere like that. Mine was a definite <laughs> finding an answer immediately. A plan. A you- plan of action. <laughs> See what you're not missing or what you are missing immediately. Deal with Why it. Why string out a, a painful divorce? <laughs>
Just <laughs> faster, just flip it off. Email us through the XFM website. This is XFM.